Hello, welcome everybody and thank you so much for joining me this evening for our Candlelit Yoga for Relaxation session. If this is your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Say hi in the comments below, I would be like really grateful and really appreciate any feedback that you have. Um, so this session is suitable for uh, anyone and um, there won't be anything gymnastic, it's all about down regulating and allowing the nervous system to switch gears and just be able to relax. Um, I know that this is a trying time for everybody and we all relax in our different ways. So I might suggest that you make sure that the room is warm enough. Um, I have my long sleeve and my socks on and I'm gonna keep them on. Um, I've also got just a few props. I don't know um, whether I will use them. I just thought I'd have them here to show you. So I've got a blanket, a strap, um, two soft blocks and two brick blocks. Um, you can absolutely do this session with no props at all. Sometimes they're just nice to have. Um, so we are going to begin lying down. So take your time to come to the floor in any way that feels easy for you. And when you're there, adjust your clothes, your hair, your posture. Take a nice deep breath. And then scan through the body again and notice is there anything asking for that micro adjustment that would leave you that little bit more comfortable. Don't set your socks on fire. So if the eyes are open, then allow the focus just to soften. Otherwise, just letting the eyelids close. Relaxing the small muscles in the corners of the eye. Maybe smiling into the corners of the eyes. Smoothing out all the creases of your brow. And then twitch your nose. Open the mouth wide, stretch the jaw, maybe even have a big yawn. You might swallow once or twice. And then let the tongue take up space in the lower palate. Relaxing the soft, fleshy part of the throat. Feeling the shoulders and the upper back drop down and away from the neck and into the floor. Beginning to tune in to the movement of your chest with each breath. Noticing where the presence and sensation of breath is most alive for you right now. And 
for some of us it might be the first time that we've brought our attention into the body all day. So if the breath feels kind of small and restricted and shallow, that's fine. And cultivating a sense of curiosity and openness to what is already present as we come to the back. Offering a sense of friendliness towards the body. We're not here to fix anything. And as you observe the inhale, Begin to invite that inhale just to deepen a little. Drawing the breath a little further into the body. Noticing a pause at the top of the inhale. And see if you can start to slow that exhale down. And exhale as we blow out the birthday candles. And again, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth nice and slowly. Once more, breathing in and breathing out. And we're going to send our awareness down to our feet. Starting to wiggle the toe. And that's all we're doing is breathing slowly and wiggling our toes. Let's scrunch them tight and press out through the heel. And keep them scrunched and point the ankle. Relax the toes, wriggle them and find space between each toe. And then flexing the ankles, pressing out through the heels. And pointing the ankles, spreading the toes wide. Soften the feet, roll them both ankles in. And both ankles out. Press to the right. And both to the left. And 
and just let the feet do a little dance. Hmm. Or rolling the hips in so the feet and the knees turn towards each other. And then rolling the hips out like a little Charlie Chaplin shape. Rolling the hips in. Rolling them out. And once more, rolling them in. As you roll them in, point the toes. Start to circle them out and flex the feet. So we're circling the ankles again, turning the hips in, pointing the feet, rolling the hips and the feet out. Bringing the toes and the kneecaps up towards the ceiling, we change direction, roll the hips out, point the feet, turn them in. And as you circle, just feel that drag through the back of the legs and into the small of the back and buttocks. Hold. Let the legs find some softness. And then one at a time, we slide each foot along the edge of your yoga mat. So the knees are bent and the feet are wide. You might adjust the position of your tail here. Maybe letting the arms drift a little wider. Take a moment just to breathe. Give yourself permission to slow right down. Letting the knees tip to the left. And bring them to center. Drifting to the right. And to center. And to begin, your knees might only move a few degrees away from that center line. They don't need to come all the way to the floor, not straight away, maybe not ever. Find a rhythm that works for you. Maybe you can keep the breath smooth and the mind quiet. Going a few more times each way. And the next time we bring the knees to the left, we will hold. few moments just to adjust, allow the body to settle, and then bringing your awareness to the tip of your nose, you're going to draw a vertical line with the tip of the nose about the length of a matchstick. A nice slow nod of the head. Pressing just enough through the back of the head that you could discern that place where the base of the skull meets the top of the spine. Or at least imagine it. 
And we'll take the tip of the nose to the top of our imaginary match. And then nod the nose over to the right. And to centre. Over to the right. to centre. Starting to take the gaze a little further each time. And eventually turning the head all the way to the right side. If you gaze to the right hand thumb and keep the focus soft or having the eyes closed. it feels good to do here, you might cross your left ankle over your right thigh. You might give that right glute a little lift away from the floor, a little squeeze of your butt cheeks together, take a nice deep breath in. And then soften your bottom back towards the floor, bring the left foot down. And with your next breath in, bring your head and your hips back to centre. Take a moment just to rest the insides of the knees together. Nice deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Breathing in and out through the nose. Let the knees drift over to the right side. Again, taking a moment to centre. Fidget. Move towards comfort. And again, drawing that vertical line with the tip of the nose. Feeling for that place where the base of the spine, the occiput, sorry, the base of the skull meets the top of the spine. Lifting the chin a little away from the chest as we come to the top of our matchstick. And then nodding the nose to the left. And to centre. To the left. And to centre. Over to the left. Looking for the thumb. And closing the eyes. After a breath or two here, you might pick up that right ankle and place it on top of your left thigh. Press the hips forward, giving the glutes a squeeze, taking a breath in. And release that right ankle, bring the head and the hips back up. Adjust. We're going to draw the right knee into the chest. Taking a big loop back of the shoulders and letting the elbows hang heavy into the waist here. 
Taking the time, giving that right knee a little rock. Squeeze and release. Drawing the knee in towards the breastbone. Go ahead and extend your left leg. Pressing out through the heel here. Keep that left leg active just a little. Coming back to that. Slow breath and wriggling your toes. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale that right knee on out towards the armpit. And bring the right arm to the inside of the leg. And then catching hold of the right ankle, opening up into a half happy baby. Taking that left hand and anchoring it to the right, uh, left hip. Point the left toes here and let the leg drift out on a diagonal, hovering a couple of inches from the floor. With the left toes pointed, we're going to start to circle the left leg. And so you're tracing the circumference of the dinner plate. Slowing down and changing direction. Bring that left leg then to the center line of your yoga mat. Fold your right heel in towards your groin. And then we're going to change the cross of the hands here. So let the right arm just fall to the side. And using your left hand, guide your right knee across the body. Nice and slowly as it comes towards the floor. And if it doesn't come all the way, this might be where you use a book. Or a book. Or anything just to support that knee. Finding a twist that feels good. Take a breath. And another. After a few breaths, you might find that that right knee is able to drop a little lower. And the spine is able to rotate a little more. But there's no rush. And if it doesn't move, it doesn't move. Be in a place where the body can relax. And the mind can be quiet. Remembering what I said at the beginning, we're really not here to fix anything, just to make friends with what is already here. With your next inhale, you're going to roll onto your back. Hug that right knee, 
loop the shoulders back into the mat but let the elbows hang into the sides fidget and then we're going to extend the right leg up into the air and press the hamstrings into the weave of your fingers dropping that outer right hip down so you're not squashing the small of your back into the floor reaching out through the left leg reaching up through the right take a breath gently pressing the right hamstrings into the hands and then take a bend in that knee place the right foot to the floor let it fall out to the side and slide that right leg away. Take a moment to pause. the shin, looping the shoulders back, elbows into the waist, so the arms are relaxed, starting with that gentle squeeze and release, rocking the head, drawing the knee towards the breastbone to begin. Reaching out through the right heel, so both legs are active. Take a nice full breath here. And as you exhale, let that left knee fall on out to the side. Bring the arm to the inside of the thigh, wrapping around the lower leg, taking hold of the ankle. Just using the elbow to nuzzle the knee on out to the side. This right hand comes to anchor the right hip. Pointing the right toes, let the leg drift out on a diagonal. Make sure you don't kick over any candles. And we're going to start to circle the right toe. Circling that leg back the other way. And bring the right leg to the center line of your mat. Fold the left heel to the groin. Changing the course of the arms. Using that right hand now to guide the left knee to the outside edge of your yoga mat. Taking your time. You might bring that rock over to provide that initial height and support for the left leg. Take a few breaths here. back to centre, hugging the left knee into the chest, extending the leg into the air, holding around the back of your hamstrings, gently pressing the back of the leg into the weave of your fingers, dropping that left butt cheek into the floor. 
reaching out through the right leg, pressing the ceiling up through the left heel. knee in two plus and we're going to bring the right knee back in to meet it so we're coming into Aparasana the wind releasing posture looping the shoulders back into the floor let the elbows hang into the side have your hands wherever they're comfortable and we'll start just to slowly circle the knees. Massaging around the sacrum. And circling back the other way. Lowering your feet to the floor, hip distance apart. Adjusting your waistband, your t shirts, your tail as you go along. Snuggle the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Bring the elbows into the waist and turn the palms to face each other so you make these lovely robot arms. We're going to come into a bridge pose and then if you have a block you have the option of doing a supported bridge posture. So we start driving the elbows and the triceps into the floor. So again a little bit of effort but the mind is still quiet. And take a nice deep inhale and exhale scooping the tailbone pressing into the feet lifting the legs. You might rest the palms to the mat here. And you're going to inhale up onto tippy toes. And exhale, rolling down through the spine. Dropping the bottom, dropping the heels. Rolling the shoulders back into the mat, giving the shoulder blades a little squeeze together. Inhale. Exhale, scooping the tailbone, lifting the head. Inhale on to tippy toes. Exhale, rolling down through the spine. Lowering the heels, breathing in. Rolling the shoulders back, pressing the arms into the floor, breathing out, scooping the tail, driving the knees forward. And you have the option to stay here unsupported, or you might bring that block in under your pelvis so it falls, so that the pelvis falls into the block, not across the curve of your lumbar spine. So you might stay supported here. If you don't have a block, just find that edge where you can hold the pose. Remembering that it's okay to roll down at any time. Okay, count your next three breaths. One more. 
pressing into the tippy toes, lift the heels, scooping your tail off your block if you came up onto one, just place that aside. And then when you're ready, rolling down through the spine, half the speed you're going now. Gathering the knees into the chest again. We're going to extend both legs into the air here. Firming up the thighs. Let the elbows just rest into the floor and pressing the hands to the front of the thighs. Flexing the feet, pressing the ceiling up through the heels. Option number one is to stay here. Now option two is to bend the knees, use the legs to gather a little bit of momentum and roll up onto the shoulders and the elbows so that the hips and the pelvis are supported in the hands. So this is called candle and the weight is all through the arms and the elbows. So it's like a half shoulder stand. Option two is to stay here. Some of you might draw the knees in towards the nose and extend the feet overhead, coming into plow, shrugging up onto your shoulders, you might interlace the hands. in to support the back or the hips. You might come into a full shoulder stand or back into that candle posture. You might still be with your bottom on the floor with both legs in the air, whatever works for you. Bending the knees. Roll the bottom to the floor, your head and shoulders might lift, that's fine. Let's curl into a little edge. And release. Place the feet to the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees open out wide. Again, adjust your clothes as you go, be comfortable. Adjust your posture. Bringing your attention back to the tip of the nose. Start just to circle the tip of the nose here. And do three or four each way. Taking your head on over to the left side. And then into center. Over to the right side. And to center, pressing in up through the back of the head. But again, you can discern the shape of the skull. And 
just as though you are releasing all the muscles that run down the back of the head, just away from the skull, just a little bit. So I like to zigzag the tip of my nose up and down, ever so slightly as I rock from side to side. It's just a suggestion, something I found that feels good for me. Bringing the head to centre. Pressing the feet into one another, drawing the knees up. Nice and slowly roll onto one side. Easing into a little recovery position. And from here, make your way up onto all fours. So bring the base of the big toes together. The knees as wide as the mat. And we're going to ease on back into extended child's posture. So if your forehead doesn't automatically come to the floor, you can go ahead and cross your arms. Maybe use your block. Give yourself the support that feels good. Counting your next three breaths here. Starting to nuzzle the forehead into the floor. And how that looks and feels will be different for everyone. You might just explore around one eyebrow. Out to the very edge of the eyebrow, across the forehead, and around the other eyebrow, taking your time. Gently pressing the head into the floor here. Just like a little contact massage. Loosening the scalp away from the skull. Let's take a moment to pause. Pulse the fingers. Claw the pads of the fingers into the mat. And then lift up onto the fingertips so the hands are like spiders. And then as you breathe in, let the elbows flare out wide. And as you breathe out, scoop them down and in. Breathing in, flaring the elbows out and up. Breathing out, scooping them down and in. Taking the elbows out and up, can we lift just a little higher? Scooping them down and in, placing the elbows back to the floor, bring the palms together. Press them into prayer. And then if you can, bring the thumbs to the back of the head so we make this namaste shark fin. You might wobble the elbows a little further forward and sit yourself back on your heels for that little bit 
that stretch through the triceps. Take another breath here. And then release your hands back to the floor. Inch your fingertips towards the front of the mat. As you inhale, imagine you're rolling a marble forward with the tip of the nose, looking out beyond the thumbs, coming up onto all fours. Have a nice easy rock here. So we can move and bring a little bit of life to the body without exciting or stressing the nervous system. And I'm gonna bring my knees a little closer together. Maybe take the shins parallel. And then I'm gonna draw some slow circles here. Four one way and then change direction. And then one can we turn those circles into figures of eight? Drawing an infinity symbol on the floor with your belly button. And allowing the head and the neck to join in in any way that feels good. Take it back the other way. Still one more. And then we're going to bring the weight forward. So shoulders over wrists. And then we're going to drop the elbows to the floor where the hands just were. And rather than sitting back into child's posture here, you're going to push your bottom up and back diagonally towards the wall behind you and bow your forehead towards the floor. Again, if it doesn't come all the way down, use a blanket or a block. Coming into Anahatasana. And then take three to five breaths here. Pulsing the fingers, drawing the pads of the fingers into the floor. Imagine you're rolling that marble forward with the tip of your nose, looking out beyond your thumb. Press into your hands, lift your elbows slightly, and then draw your chest forward and up. Let's just place the elbows to the floor under the shoulders as we come into Sphinx posture. And again, we can stay here. Or if you have a block, sometimes it's nice just to rest the forehead down here.
Using your next three breaths. If your head is on the block, start to press through your elbows. Nice and slowly lifting your gaze. Let's take a peeky over the right shoulder. Then back to centre. Take a peeky over the left shoulder. Then back to centre. Just going to place that block away. I'm going to take the hands out just a little bit wider than the mat, up onto fingertips here, scooping the elbows in towards each other, lifting up into Cobra. And reaching the toes back. Lifting the gaze. Softening through the elbows, making it a little bit snaky. Mm. Sway it out from side to side. Maybe even circling a little. Find the supreme movement in your pose where you can enjoy your practice and still keep your mind quiet. Sway it all the way on down to the floor and rest the forehead on the hands. So from here, all you're going to do is roll onto your back and you might get yourself a blanket or a couple of blankets or a block for your pillow. I'm just going to pause the video here. Just while you get ready, and then the relaxation part will be in a separate video. So bear with me.